Graphing an equation that's been given to us in point slope form is very similar to graphing an equation that's been given to us in slope intercept form, except that we first have to figure out what the point was. So for example, let's say we're given the equation y plus 3 equals negative 3 fifths x minus 2, and we want to graph this. First we need to figure out what the point was. And in order to do that, remember the point slope form was y minus the given y equals the slope times x minus the given x. Our goal is to figure out the given x and the given y. But in order to do that, both of these operations need to be subtraction. So where we see addition, we should rewrite it as subtracting the opposite. Now that's an unusual move for us. Usually we're rewriting subtraction as adding the opposite. But in this case, the form that we're looking for wants subtraction. So if we see addition, we need to rewrite it. In our given equation, we see addition right here. So instead of y plus 3, we're going to have y minus the opposite of 3. Now, here we already have subtraction, so we can leave it be. Our given point, then, was x is 2, y is negative 3. Okay. We also want to identify the slope. That's easy. That's negative 3 fifths. We can just see that in the form of the equation. Okay. Now we're ready to plan our graph and actually draw our graph. Just like we did with the slope-intercept form, I think it's going to be useful to have a small table of values. From our given point, when x is 2, y is negative 3. And then the slope, right, I'm going to put the negative sign in the numerator. When x goes up by 5, y goes down by 3. So x is going to start at 2, goes up by 5, and gets to 7. y is going to start at negative 3, goes down by 3, and gets to negative 6. Um, and now I'm going to go backwards. What plus 5 is 2? This is a job for subtraction. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. What plus negative 3 is negative 3? That's definitely going to be 0. Why did I do that? Well, it looks like I want my x's to go all the way up to 7 and all the way down to negative 3. I want my y's to go down to negative 6, but they really don't need to go up that far. Now I'm ready to draw my axes and actually make my graph. Now my y-axis doesn't really need to go up that far, so I'm going to go ahead and put my x-axis way up here. So here's my x-axis. I had it extend a little bit beyond the edges of what I really, really need. And then my y-axis needs to go down to negative 6. And I had space for it, so I extended it down to negative 7. There are my axes. Now I'm ready to graph. I'm going to plot the point. x is 2, y is negative 3. This is my given point. And then I'm going to use the slope to get another point. My slope says go right 5 down 3. Here's another point. And now I graph the line through those points.
Notice that that other point in my table ended up on the line without me having to do anything about it. Right, because that point ought to be on the line. And two points is enough to actually determine a line. And there's our graph. So what did we have to do? Figure out what the point was. Figure out what the slope is. Figure out what our axes need to look like. And then plot the point and use the slope.